So talk to me about how we put this together. So yeah, you want to start with a container that is a minimum of 20 inches in diameter. Bigger is better in this case. It's important that it not have any holes in the bottom. Most of the big box stores sell plenty of containers now that do not have holes in the bottom, so they lend themselves easily to water gardening. So you want to start with some basics that you do even in regular pots. So you want to have some height in the background, something in the midground, and something in the foreground, maybe even flowing out. For this particular tub garden, I chose a dwarf cypress okay. or umbrella palm, mm -hmm. and it is in the background, and it's been um, placed in the same pot as a taro, which is what they make poi out of. Right, yeah, right. So this is an imperial taro, and they look lovely together, and they, they really give do. some dimension to the pot. The next thing I did was I put in the smallest water lily in the world. The name of it is Helvola, and it is a very, very old variety, several hundred years old. Really? It comes from Germany, yes. And then I wanted to put in a floater. This is water hyacinth. I love that plant. And it has roots that hang down and filter the water. Excellent. It also blooms during the summer. And then the, one of the most important things that you're going to want to add to your tub garden is some kind of a piece of wood. It not only looks terrific, but it's there to save the life of a bird that might accidentally fall in when it's taking a sip of water. So any kind of piece of wood that will fit in there nicely and give the little bird something to grab onto so that it can safely get out of the tub garden. So are there, are there any considerations with regards to, you know, anything else that's in the bowl or the water that we use? Do you recommend only using rainwater or is, is tap water fine? Tap water is fine as long as you let it age for two or three days before you put plants or fish in there. And if you don't want to put fish in there and you're worried about having mosquitoes, then there's a product called Bacillus thuringiensis right, right. that will actually kill the larva, but it's safe to birds and pets if they drink out of it.